Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to dive into all of your questions you have regarding zero waste toilet paper. So I asked on Instagram, if you wanna be part of future videos like this, be sure to follow me there and stay tuned to my stories for the question boxes that inspire these videos. We'll be covering everything from what makes toilet paper eco-friendly. Is it flushable? Does it dissolve? Is it soft? What is the cost? And everything in between. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So today's video is sponsored by Who Gives a Crap? Did you know we cut down trees for the sole purpose of wiping our butts? Yeah, that's pretty wasteful. So Who Gives a Crap makes eco-friendly toilet paper, meaning that they make it out of recycled material and bamboo, and we're going to dive into that in a second. They are also very, very passionate about providing toilets to those who don't have access to plumbing. So 50% of their profits go toward building toilets. And you can shop Who Gives a Crap with the link in the description. So what makes toilet paper eco-friendly, and what is the difference between bamboo and recycled toilet paper? In my eyes, any toilet paper that is not made from virgin trees slash paper is eco-friendly. So this usually ends up being bamboo or recycled paper. But why is that? Bamboo, first off, is a grass, if you didn't know. It might look and feel like wood when it's in its raw material, but it's actually in the grass family. That means it requires significantly less water than trees, as well as when you like chop it down, it will regrow, just like when you cut grass in your yard. So this means overall less water, less energy, less resources to create bamboo products. Recycled toilet paper, on the other hand, is exactly what it sounds like. Any paper that you put in your curbside recycling bin will get taken to a sorting facility. And then from there, companies like Who Gives a Crap can buy bundles of paper to recycle it and turn it into toilet paper. This of course does still take time and energy, but it is a significant cutback from using virgin trees. But is recycled toilet paper soft? This is people's biggest question. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but I love my Charmin. I love my other brand of toilet paper. I bet this brand, because it's eco-friendly, it's bad. Like, no, just because something is eco-friendly doesn't mean it's any different than the products you're normally using. But yes, it's soft. I've, I've used this for several months now. Let's give it a try. So here's what it looks like up close. And there's the ply. You can't even see me. It's, it's really, really thick. And so there's this like textured side. It is like, I wouldn't say rough, but it's textured. And then this side though, that's not textured. So, so soft. A lot of people also ask like, oh, because it's eco-friendly, it's recycled, it must not hold together. Does it hold together when you're using it? Yes. Now I'm not gonna give you a legitimate demonstration, but I will do a quick test for you right here. And that is, I'm just going to tug on this square of toilet paper until it breaks. And let me tell you, it takes a while. It is super strong and I had no technical difficulties using Who Gives a Crap. But the best part too is even though it's strong when you're using it, when you put it in the toilet, it dissolves very quickly. Here's an example of another test I did. I put one sheet of Who Gives a Crap in a jar of water and shook it up. And this is how quickly it dissolves. And I've also had no issues with clogging while using this toilet paper. Next question, what is the packaging like? As you already saw, all of the toilet paper is wrapped individually in paper. We'll get on, we'll get to that in a second. And then it comes in a big box of cardboard and it's filled all the way to the top. So they don't even have any packing materials in there. In my humble opinion, the individual wrapping is unnecessary, but I can see the point. And that is for hygiene. If you're ordering this for like an office space or something else, it keeps the toilet paper hygienic. Plus not to mention these fun colors make it really easy to reuse. Of course it is fully recyclable, but you can save this. I use them to wrap gifts. I showed that in my gift wrapping video this winter. Um, and then I also save it like if I'm shipping a box to someone and it's not quite full to the top, I'll ball up a few of these like so, place them in the top and then they act as upcycled shipping materials. But what is the cost comparison? I know this is a big question as well. So here's how it breaks out. Who gives a crap bamboo toilet paper is $68 per 48 rolls, making it about $1.42 per roll. And their recycled toilet paper is $62 for 48 rolls, making it about $1.29 per roll. And then I compare this to the cost of 48 rolls from some brands from Walmart. And here were the results. Garmin was about $1.70 per roll. Cottonelle and Quilted Northern were 87 cents per roll. And then Scott was 89 cents per roll. So as you can see, Who Gives a Crap is about in the middle. It's not the most expensive and it's not the cheapest either. And if you're buying Charmin, Who Gives a Crap is actually a big discount. And something also to consider when you're shopping for eco and ethical brands is to consider the supply chain. They are most likely paying their workers fairly and they are paying for high quality and stuff like recycled and bamboo. But what about the shipping? This is people's biggest thing as well. I feel like with the texture and then the shipping, they're like, why would I ship eco-friendly toilet paper to my house when I can just drive to Walmart two minutes down the road and get some toilet paper there? Let me explain. Not always will shipping outweigh the benefits of buying a more wasteful product locally, but we have to look at the big picture of both items. Who Gives a Crap requires a lot less energy to create and everything is recyclable at the end of its life. It requires a lot more energy up front to create that paper from trees and the plastic packaging cannot be recycled. And you also have to consider how that even got to your local Walmart anyway. 
it was shipped there. So either something is shipped directly to your door or something is shipped to your local store, and then you still have to go drive and get it. I personally think the emissions are similar. If not, the one at your local Walmart is probably more. Now, if there is a recycled toilet paper company in your town, like it's made there, that's definitely the most eco-friendly option for you. But for the most part, having something shipped to your door is not going to be more emissions than getting something from Walmart or Target. I hope that this in-depth review of Zero Waste Toilet Paper was helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I'd love to do a follow-up if you have more questions. And again, don't forget to shop Who Gives a Crap with the link in the description. I hope that you enjoy trying eco-friendly toilet paper. And if you would like more information, I do have an in-depth eco-friendly toilet paper review and like my first thoughts on using eco-toilet paper linked above. Thanks for watching and until next time, remember that your small actions have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. We'll be covering everything from what makes eco-friendly toilet. <laughs> this of course still takes time and energy, but it's significant. <laughs> this of course does still take time and energy, but it is a, a oh my gosh. So as you can see, and something also to consider when you're shopping for eco, eco oh my gosh. I hope that's it. Uh, <laughs>